What's going on my friends? It's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on upload automation with Lazy Merch. If you guys haven't heard of Lazy Merch, it's a free automation tool where you can get 50 free listings every single month for every single platform they offer including Amazon KDP. So if you want to learn how to use the tool, real quick I'm going to show you how you make your own custom spreadsheet and you can get started using the tool today. So stick attuned and stay attuned and we're going to get right into the video. All right, so first things first, you're gonna have to go ahead, download the Lazy Merch tool. You can go to their website. I will leave it linked down in the description. You're gonna have to sign up and log into your account. Once you download on your computer, you're gonna have to give them access to your computer to be able to use the program. And I believe you also do need Chrome installed because this does run off of Chromium to actually automate the system and you know control that part of your browser for you. Having Chromium uh, will come with downloading Lazy Merch if you have Chrome, I believe so. Just keep that in mind. But after you get to this page, you log in with your account on the Lazy Merch. You're going to go overhead over here. You're going to click the Upload tab. And you're going to see here are all the platforms they offer. So you don't have to use all of them. You just use whatever ones you want. But you can choose whatever ones you want here. And when you want to use a platform, you're going to have to upload a spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet is going to have to contain a singular sheet within the whole spreadsheet that is specific to the platform. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second here. But you can choose whatever platforms you want here. I'm going to kind of skip over the complex parts of KDP if you don't already know how to upload with KDP. But if you put an image into the KDP section, because we're going to show you on the spreadsheet, you have to show your file path. It will convert the image as long as you set it in the settings to a book cover. You don't even have to convert it. Very awesome. Just keep that in mind. Another huge thing. This will say 50 uh, out of 50 for you every month. So keep in mind also, you're not going to have infinite uploads. I do have the full version. If you have the free version, 50 uploads for every single platform, every single month, which is like 550 uploads. So now let's get right over to the spreadsheet. I'm going to show you guys how to do all that stuff. And then after we do that, you'll be able to upload and ready to go. All right. So what you're going to want to do when you first get onto here is you're going to go ahead and go to your file explorer and you're going to want to find where you downloaded lazy merch. In my case, it's on my local disk. You can look for it, um, but it should be pretty easy to find wherever you installed it. Then go over here, and I'm going to zoom in for you just so you can see what I'm clicking on, and click the Excel folder in the Lazy Merch folder. Now, after you click here, you're going to see they have all the templates for each place you want to upload to. Here's what I would recommend. You can use um, a template that is basically a multi-template. It's kind of weird, and it does fill in some of the fields automatically for you, but a really easy way to do it if you don't want to bother with that which is what I do, very simple, is I just go down here, open up a new sheet and have this ready to paste some stuff in, then pick the platforms you want on the left hand side here or on their templates. Let's say we want T Public. And you're gonna see it's open up here. It has all the fields filled, and then we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, or we can just yeah, copy that. We're gonna small paste it over here, just control C to copy, control V to paste, or you can right click and use the options here. But what you're going to do now is name this sheet to T public. And I'll show you guys what this is doing in a second. We're just going to go pick two more platforms real quick. And then uh, and then you'll have the basis of how to do this. Then we also want KDP. KDP is really useful. You can click on here, then we're going to control A to select all. Or you can also just go like this and select all. So select all of them. Then copy with control C or by right clicking and pressing copy. Now go over to your other sheet, which we were just on, which was this other sheet here. Click on this part in the bottom. I believe you can do this on Google Sheets too. It's very similar. You just have to save it as an Excel file and then put it in your um, lazy merch folder, which I'll show you in a sec here. So now click on this plus button. We're going to paste the KDP stuff here. Then we're going to type in KDP there. And now we have a KDP template. Here's the thing with the KDP template. Um, it is a bit more complex. You have to know the KDP rules to use this template. But if you do know the KDP rules, it's very simple. I'm going to have a separate video going over that. But it's going to tell you in the uploader if something's wrong as well before you start uploading. So now with that being said, let's go ahead and click on one last one. And we'll go ahead and open up our, uh, you know, one more sheet. 
which is going to be a Redbubble copy. All right, Redbubble copy, meaning it's a copy of a Redbubble listing. This is the easiest way to have formatted designs. And then you're just going to have the name of your design on your shop in this section. So keep that in mind. It's the same thing for some of the other templates. Some of them need a link. Um, you can also do a link, I believe, but it's up to you what you want to do. They give examples in all the templates, so it is pretty straightforward. And I will also leave a link down to their website where you can go ahead and look at each platform's upload process if you get stuck on anything at all. But we're going to paste that over here the same way, Control C, Control V, and then we're going to rename it Red Bubble. And now what's going to happen is you're going to see you have three sheets here. We're going to save this sheet. We're going to save it as, and we're going to browse. We want to put it in the, in the lazy merch folder. That's, that's just how it is. That's how it works. So just save it in the lazy merch folder. You can save it wherever you want. I'll save it in templates. Um, that's also where they have the templates. They have them in the Excel and the templates folder. Go to the templates folder. I'll save it in here and then my custom thing. All right. My custom thing, save it as an Excel file or XLSX. Now it's done. I haven't filled out these folders just yet. But basically to fill the path, which is only part you're probably going to be stuck on, what you want to do is you want to go over to your file folder. Then you're going to highlight the things you want to put in your auto uploader. Then you're going to press shift, right click, and you can press this copy as path button. You're going to have to hold shift while you have them all selected and then copy as path. You can click that. And now when you paste it over here, you're going to see it, it copied all the paths and our program lazy merch is going to be able to access those files if you have any trouble with anything i can make follow-up videos in separate portions but honestly give it a try it's not that complex once you get it started and here we have our sheet i'm going to go over to the lazy merch uploader and show you how the sheet works so what you're going to, get, going to want to do is for the platforms you want to upload to you click on this little plus button and then this is my custom sheet that i use usually i have about five platforms on there the one we just made, my custom thing, you click it, and you're going to see there's three different options. T public, which we put in there, KDP, and Redbubble. So in this case, we want KDP, and it is going to say what's missing, you know, no image, they can find it because it's not on the right path. It's going to say no title. It's going to say if I have tags or not, which I do, these are my tags. It's going to give all the things I don't have, and what you can do also is go over and do the same thing, click on the same sheet here. You can put the sheet in an easier location to grab, make a separate folder for it so you don't have to kind of look for it too hard. But then you're gonna click on which one you want. I want Redbubble, and obviously I didn't fill in the sheet right, but it's pretty easy to fill in. It's just like filling in a Redbubble listing, and the hardest part is copying the path. Fine, make sure you're getting the right path, but once you do have the right path, what you can do here, before we launch the upload, which is really simple, you just click um, you basically just click right here, the play button, and it's going to open up Chromium. You're going to have to log in to your account. And then after you log into your account on there, it's going to automatically upload everything. If anything goes wrong, you just click, the, there'll be a retry button here to restart the upload process. And also you can scroll down here if you have more than three designs uh, to see what's wrong, you know, what's going wrong. Why is it failing? Pretty simple. Honestly, the hardest part is just getting to here, getting your sheet set up right and Honestly, it's not that hard after you do that. You're going to be uploading very fast, and you can upload to more than just these three sites. And here's how, real quick, that I um, would copy my description, tags, and title. So description, tags, and title, those three things are pretty much in every single listing. KDP is the exception where the title is custom to what's on the actual design, the font on the cover. But once you get your design paths down, you can copy them and paste them to every single one. The KDP one's in the second column, be careful. And you can just copy and paste the same things over and over again. Control C, Control V after you select them. And then change whatever language you want, right? And you can also do this if you don't know how Excel works. You can grab all your all of your sections here and just drag it down, paste, right? Very simple. Adults on whatever you need for your listing. You can configure it. And once you get your description down once, you can copy it down like this. So all the same descriptions, say so you have the same niche, pretty similar descriptions. Then you can control C and then bring it over to the T public tab description, control V. Just like that, you have your descriptions copied over. You can do that for tags. 
title, description, and main tag. Personally, I always just make it the title on public. It's whatever you want. Um, it's going to be different for every platform, but once you get the basics like this set up, you're going to understand how it works. And by now, you should have a pretty good understanding how it works. It's not that complicated, and it is worth the time to figure this out. It takes uh, 20, 30 minutes to figure out. Once you have it figured out, you're going to be saving 30 minutes to an hour every day. And if you're using those 50 upload slots over and over again, then you're even using up all of them in a month. Uploading 50 manually to all these platforms would take forever, especially, um, you know, the smaller platforms like Spreadshirt or Zazzle or Society6. Some of those take a lot of effort to upload and having just one click buttons that you basically just copy pasted the info from your other listings over to here is very simple and it makes it really easy. I really like this tool. Hope you guys found this video tutorial helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, running these is just simple. So click and play, logging into your account. It's going to start uploading the designs for you and it's going to kind of take control of your computer, but you will still be able to use your computer, go to different tabs, play a game, um, just fine depending on your computer's, you know, specs, but very good tool. I really like it. And I wanted to share this with you guys because 50 free uploads for every platform is huge, at least in my eyes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. I can do more in-depth tutorials if you guys want, but this should get you started and get you going with this free, you know, free 50 listings in every platform. And I really do think it's a great tool. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Check the link out down in the description to sign up for the tool absolutely free go ahead and download try it out let me know what you think and with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next freaking video keep striving stay blessed it's been your friend jack peace out